This is Glenn Hauser with World of Radio, 2217. World of Radio is a listener-supported public service program about communications around the world, above all short waves. On this edition, recorded November 16th, Brazil, Bulgaria, China, Colombia, Denmark, East Turkestan, Eritrea, Europe, France, Greece, India, Ireland, Israel, Japan, Korea South, Kurdistan, Mexico, Netherlands, North America, Oklahoma, Saudi Arabia, Sudan South, Turkey, USA, Unidentified 5845, and the Propagation Outlook. Standard Disclaimer. Johnny Serra in Roma, Italy, has been measuring some Brazilian shortwave frequencies. Most of them are never exactly on frequency, according to the Utventa remote receiver in Holland. Radio Brasil Central, 11815, November 3rd at 0225, was actually varying 17 or 18 hertz above that frequency. Radio Nova de Julio, nominal 9820, on November 6th at 0407, was actually almost one kilohertz low as usual, 9819.047 to 48. Radio Voz Missionario varies above and below its nominal 9665 within 24 hours. November 4th at 0319, it was 25 hertz on the plus side, but later at 2227, it was 976 or 977, that is 23 or 24 hertz on the low side. Via Rusty X, some weather forecasts for sailors. Viktor Chekhanovich got this from HF Underground under maritime weather transmissions concerning Varna Radio in Bulgaria for the coastal part of the Black Sea and navigational warnings at 0703 and 1903 UT on 3740 USB in English and Bulgarian. Without really trying, I was hearing the time signal station from China on 10,000 kilohertz via the remote in New Hampshire. I was trying to check its calibration, but above WWV and WWVH were time pips of a different pitch, and for a full minute almost at midnight 59, the ID and CW multiple times, BPM over and over. WRTH shows the location is Pujang, not Beijing, 24 hours with 20 kilowatts. It's also on 2500, 5000, and 15000 kilohertz. I've been hearing a surprisingly strong signal in Vietnamese on 9415, such as November 11th at 2324. That is the Vietnamese service of CRI from the Beijing site. Of course, towards Southeast Asia, so it's close to off the backward this way. The only shortwave station still active for sure in Colombia is Al Caravan Radio, just below 5910, about 5909.96. However, this B season, once again, the China relay via Cuba is back on 5910, blocking it for a by hour during prime time at 03 until 05 UT. The extremely strong signal from CRI in Mandarin and Cantonese is aimed right across North America, but by LSB tuning I can still hear a bit of HJDH. It would be better off on their other frequency currently inactive as La Voz de Conciencia on 6010. By the way, according to HFCC, 5910 is reserved for IRDR, International Radio for Disaster Relief, 24 hours to all CRF zones of the world, placeholders 100 kilowatts from the Vatican site. But as far as I know, no disaster has ever occurred meriting activation for relief on this or any other reserve frequency in every band. About long way broadcasting from Denmark, whose days are numbered on 243 kilohertz, Andrea Lavendel in Italy says on November 16th, I observed a deviation from the usual MET report format on Colin Borge 243 kHz at 1045 UT. The interval signal gave way to an announcement in Danish referring to the imminent dismission of the long wave operations and inviting audience to turn to FM or Internet for their meteorological information. This was repeated just before 11 UT and then switching to Radio Avisen from the P1 National Radio Channel. And he says, I reported my reception, both to Mr. Jens Zeberg, the voluntary verification signer mentioned by Edun Ritz, 
NDR's official page on Facebook via Messenger and got a prompt reply from the latter, signed Anna DR, confirming all my info is correct. Kai Ludwig in Germany replies, That speech machine has been decommissioned since the start of November, according to MediumWave.info. And someone who recently drove out to Kalundborg told me that he does not expect the towers to be in place for much longer after the closure. There's lots of corrosion, probably already beyond help. Dainline East Turkestan, since Aoki and I do not recognize that part of the world as being part of China, about Xinjiang PBS. Dr. Hans-Jörg Biener says they made their annual winter switch to lower frequencies on the 60-meter band. So I made my annual check of them shortly after sign-on, circa local sunrise, when it's gray line to me, circa local sunset. November 14th at midnight, 40 UT. And there were signals on all four of these frequencies, even though one could not hear much beyond some Chinese this on the slightly stronger one, 5060. This quartet makes it obvious that's where they're coming from. Ivy, in fact, lists nothing else anywhere on any of these four frequencies. 5060, Chinese, 4980, Uyghur, 4850, Kazakh, and 4500, Mongolian. And according to latest info from Hiroshi via Ron Howard, the current sign-on times are either 2310 or 2315 UT. Current sunrise at Urumqi is about 0103 UT, but that's 9.03 a.m. by the local clock, since the imperialist Chai Khans insist on applying Beijing time of UT plus 8, rather than when it should be UT plus 6. Radio Irena, E-R-E-N-A, is a clandestine for Eritrea based in Paris. Kai Ludwig asks, what's ever become of them? They mention transmissions on their website on 25 meters, but at 17 UT, not found anywhere between 11400 and 12100. As of last January, Ivo Ivanov had them on 11810 during the 17 to 18 UT hour. But Wolfgang Buschel now replies, they're on 9585, heard via the Qatar remote at 1720, and that's registered as the Armenia relay in Sud Bulgaria and confirmed by USAGM monitoring. Johnny Serra in Italy reports a number of Euro pirates, such as on 4945, Radio Misti, M-I-S-T-I in Dutch, October 28th at 2058 to 2138, varying slightly up and down, 4 hertz down to 9 hertz up, including Dutch pop songs, dance, rock songs, Duran Duran, the DJ talking, laughing, chatting, and some IDs as Radio Misti at times. And this was running a few seconds behind the parallel frequency of 5840 plus 6 or 7 hertz. And then on 5835.13 variable was Radio Europa, which he attributes to Ukraine on November 6th at 1716 to 1748. It was varying between 131 and 124 hertz above, with lively music, rock, Bob Marley, some dead air. This was identified by Chris on HF Underground, as Radio Europa is transliterated from Cyrillic. I encountered some un-ID DRM noise centered on 6090, November 12th at 0745, nothing listed. However, at some other times of day, France testing DRM on that frequency. And there's also a registration from Havarovsk, Russia, on 6090, but not marked as DRM. Chris Mackerel in New Zealand, who tries to keep track of what's really happening with DRM, says, I confirm it is TDF. I received it last night in New Zealand. Other details unknown. TDF seems to consider their DRM test schedule a closely guarded state secret. As for Russia DRM on any frequency, he says these have not been reported for years. Radio Purga, as listed in DRM, was never regular, normally just popping up for a few days around change of broadcast seasons on a selection of frequencies, totally unrelated to any registrations. I've seen no sign of them this time, on any remotes around the place. This may be the last week to hear the many Transat sailboat race weather information from TDF in France. Off frequency from 21640 on the high side. It's been registered only through November 23rd, but the race could end earlier, who knows. I heard it November 14th at 1546. Besides giving the weather first in English and French, then they give the standings in the race and fill out the rest of the hour with music. Another item from HF Underground via Rusty X about Olympia Radio in Greece. 
that's a coastal station, but rather than weather, they have a press review in USB, in Greek, on the schedule. 11.45 to 12.20 UT on 13.134 and 17.341. And in 19.45 to 20.20 on 8.776 and 13.134. Updating and expanding the English segments on Akashvani from India during broadcasts which are otherwise in other languages. That's a spotlight program for about 15 minutes. Joe Jacob has come up with some additional time, so here are all of them that he listed as of November 14th. Times are approximate and may not be reliable from one day to the next. Midnight 45 UT, 15200 during Chinese. At 0200, 15200 Indonesian. And 11570 during Tibetan. 0330, 15410 Burmese. 0500, 11620 Dari. 0605, 15280 Arabic. 11.30, 15.400 Chinese. 11.55, 99.50 and 11.560 in Tibetan. At 12.40 during Swahili on 15.400. 13.40, 11.560 Pashtu. 14.05, 99.50 Dari. 16.35, 96.20 Farsi. 18.35, 96.20 Arabic. 20.02, 96.20 in French. On November 15th, Harold Sellers in B.C. reported hearing these via remotes in Europe and Eastern North America at 1635 and at 1821, both on 9620. Those would be during the Farsi and Arabic services. Many churches in Ireland broadcast their morning services on the 27 MHz band. I suspect this is unofficial, but apparently quite widespread. In ADX, Patrick Robich in Austria provides a list of these that he heard identifying each of the churches with exact dates and times and frequencies. They range from 27022 to 27831. Many but not all of them end in the figure one. He doesn't say they're all in AM, but probably, but maybe USB. Many but not all of them are on Sunday morning, November 5th, but some are on Saturday, November 4th, or even Wednesday, November 1st. The prime time is around 10 UT, Sometimes a bit earlier and sometimes somewhat later. I don't know whether he identified all of them as shown here or he's got a list of them somewhere, but here's an example. On 27631, November 4th at 1010, the Church of the Assumption in Tullamore, County Offaly. All this came via shortwave bulletin. Donny Rosenschweig near New York says, I see that the new WRMI schedule has Khan English from Israel at 09 to 930 UT aimed at Western U.S., on 9455, but I'm not waking up in the middle of the night to check this one. Via IRC ADX monitor, this about Japan. Okinawa, medium wave AFN, surf 648, is back in operation. So if you were waiting for this day, it is here. Go forth. Be merry and enjoy the literal music to your ears, says Staff Sergeant Wisher, a.k.a. the Okinawan Orca, in the AFN Okinawa FB group, via Koji Shimotori, to the dxing.info FB group on November 2nd. 7720 is active 20 hours per day according to Alki, between 07 and 03 UT from Echo of Hope from South to North Korea. And I was hearing some just barely audible music November 6th at 0738. Also reported by Bob Russell in Wisconsin in the NASA flash sheet, October 31st at 1249 with instrumental music and alternate talks in Korean by a man and a woman at 12.51. Gurdistan Nan reported by Wolfgang Buschel using remote receivers on November 11th. Dengegel, the Kurdish service, originally on 11.520, but at 09 moved to 11.530, while the Turkish security service jamming by President Erdogan was on nearby 11.510.008. Via international vacuum, internet, medium, high, and very high frequencies, World of Radio 2217, a non-commercial service like our website, worldofradio.com. Financial support appreciated via PayPal, not necessarily in U.S. funds, to w-o-r-a-d-i-o at yahoo.com or by check or money order on a U.S. bank to Glenn Hauser, P.O. Box 1684, E-N-I-D OK, 73702. About the pirates supposedly in northwestern Mexico, but with a Japanese format, Lucas Bandura, NBC, reports the latest on November 10th about Hikari FM, 6200 AM. 
He's been on and off the air a lot recently due to transmitter issues, but he is on now at 0755 UTS 6 into BC. Some weak bass coming through mainly via ARL Dial in Spain. This about Radio Delta International in Holland. It has a registered B23 schedule with one kilowatt in English and Dutch. On this complex schedule, 0 to 16 UT, 12075 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 06 to 16 on 6020 on Monday and Thursday. 16 to 24 on 6060 Monday, Friday, and Saturday. And 17 to 2230 on 12095 Sunday and Friday. But they say in reality, there are fewer transmissions according to their own website. At 06 to 10, 12075 on Sundays. At 07 to 14, 12075 on Saturdays. And 14 to 20 on 6060 Saturdays. North American Pirate on 11 meters. 25695 USB says Walt Salmon in BC. November 11th at 1804 UT. Excellent reception. Started at 25910 and then changed to 25695. The location is near Chicago according to direction finding. I tuned it in as soon as possible at 1839 and was also hearing it with heavy rock music. Probably via sporadic E and also heard it via Don Mullen's remote in Alberta. At 1857 ID as Mix Radio International Worldwide. And still going at 2120 UT when Harold Sellers in BC was also hearing it with a strong signal. On November 14th, Paul Walker reported to IRCA, I got a text from someone connected to Oklahoma City Area Broadcast Engineering that apparently KOKC 1520 is now operating with 50 kilowatts night directional signal. For many years, you may recall, they'd been on a temporary signal of 12 kilowatts non-directional following tornado damage to their antennas. It's also been coming in quite a bit stronger here in Enid, so I suspect it is really 50 kilowatts. The nightward signal is aimed west-southwest, covering much of western North America. Unfortunately, KOKC now is nothing but right-wing talk. Back in the glory days, it was KOMA with rock music. Michael Bue in Austin, Texas says the KOKC signal to the south is now weaker, allowing him to hear other things. There is a station with country music on 1520 KRHW in Sykeston, Missouri. Maybe that's what I've been hearing interfering still. Rick Barton and John Johnson in Arizona, however, are not sure that it's really up to 50 kilowatts yet. Wolfgang Buschel in Germany reports on monitoring Saudi Arabia via remote in Qatar 111860. It says, one of the nine transmitters at Riyadh performs unwell. Modulation, terrible noise, string signal, Yemen exile radio. 30 over 9 at 0733 UT, a singer in performance but a software display showed 28 sound strips of each 120 hertz apart distance away. Peter W. Hansen is monitoring Radio Tamazu, T-A-M-A-Z-U-J, the target service or clandestine for South Sudan, mainly in Juba Arabic. But he says English started at 1511 UT Tuesday, November 14th, and should be on Fridays at the same time until 1530. Well heard on 15550 via the remote in Holland, as well as in South Australia and Iceland. That frequency is registered as via Madagascar, and there's an alternate, also Madagascar, 15150. One more weather broadcast schedule from HF Underground via Rusty X, this time Istanbul Radio TAN in Turkey. Weather forecast for sailors in Turkish and English at 10 to 10.30 UT on 8.812 and 13.128. At 18 to 18.30 on 4.405, 8812 and 13128. Regarding last week's report of Radio Marti on its third harmonic, 35790 kHz, I've again heard a barely audible carrier there. Sporadic E should audibleize it here eventually. Meanwhile, we should also look for other third harmonics from the Grimesland, North Carolina site. There are only four of them currently in use, and these are their current schedules, according to HFCC. On 35160, 3 times 11, 720. That's VOA music at 21 to 22 UT only. 35, 580. 3 times 11, 860. Marti at 15 to 23. 35, 640. 3 times 11, 880. Korea in Spanish at 01 to 02 UT only. 
and 35, 790, 3 times 11, 930. The Marti hours are 14 until 01 UT. Of course, in that case, you might also hear a third harmonic of Cuban jamming. Dan Robinson has found something else to criticize VOA about. VOA has been in the middle of the debate over how media have described Hamas since the October 7th attacks in Israel by Hamas terrorists. He links to a column by Jonathan Turley, October 25th, titled, Yes, Hamas is Legally, Morally, and Factually a Terrorist Organization. And Turley says, My column in the New York Post on the Associated Press Guideline for Reporters to Avoid Calling Hamas a Terrorist Organization. Voice of America and other media outlets have made the same decision. This is not about supporting the Palestinian cause. It is about correctly describing a group that commits terrorist acts as a terrorist organization. The BCQ has been having problems with its main transmitter on 7490. UT Sunday, November 12th at 0424. I was surprised to find no more all Trump all the time on 5130, but instead J.P. Ferraro on his shortwave Saturday night show which was supposed to be on 7490, where there was no signal. So that must have crashed, and programming moved to 5130, while 6160 continued with something else. At 05 UT, 5130 went into tombs instead of back to Trump. Actually measured on 5130.356. The next evening, November 12th at 2310, 7490 was still AWOL for the second day, but 5130.357 was on, with a very weak signal, probably with the scheduled Jinga Brazil program. And the show with Harry Shearer was also on after midnight, UT Monday, November 13th. By the way, Trump fans must have been shocked to be hearing the more or less liberal J.P. Ferraro instead on 5130. Apparently the same situation, November 13th into UT 14th. But on the 14th at 23 UT, 7490 was back on. On Wednesday the 15th after 22 UT, I could not get enough signal on 7490 to be sure World of Radio was on there. But it may have been on the air with a reduced power, and measuring later it was on the plus side instead of the minus side of 7490. So those two factors make me suspect it is a substitute backup transmitter. Measured at 7490.06 or 07, November 16th at midnight 48. As for WTWW, November 11th at 0247, 5085 was finally back on the air, following the three-day visit by a continental engineer, ex-bishop Bob Behrman pontificating, with a very good single direct, not yet heard on 9475 earlier in the afternoons. But the next evening, UT November 12th, no signal again from 5085, Back on November 12th at 2326, starting with Pastor Pete Peters. Obviously a very old recording from just after the February 2003 Space Shuttle Columbia disaster he was talking about, and quoting Obadiah 4, which says, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Ah, so God is against space travel. Serves them right. WRNO had been missing for a while, but heard again November 16th at 0439, 30-40 to 40 over S9 on 7505, presumably in Hindi, which makes me wonder why should Hindi speakers be Christians instead of Hindus. In the NASA flash sheet, Tony Pavic in British Columbia reports both WWN day frequencies extended into the night. That's because they cannot get their lower band transmitters to work on 31 or 49 meters, I assume. On November 7th, he had Spanish at 0307 to 0330 on 12050. And on November 10th, 15610 in English, still on at 0130 to 0200. In ABDX, Kevin Redding in Crump, Tennessee says, an unusual catch. I usually hear WRVA Virginia on 1140, but had KCXL, Liberty, Missouri, very clear, with the top of our ID at 0100, probably local time. Tim Hall replies, they're all over my recordings from the Nevada-Utah border in a couple weeks ago. They must have left the day rig on 24-7 for at least three weeks, maybe longer. Maldo Ritala of WRTH is still wondering, does anyone hear KMMM 1290 in Pratt, Kansas? All web presence seems to be outdated. Maul replies to this, at the start of my de-expedition two and a half weeks ago, 
They were blasting all night on day power with true country format. The website problem we're seeing with a lot of Kansas stations lately is a side effect of the consolidation we're seeing as smaller stations try to compete with bigger companies like iHeartRadio. The smaller companies are being swallowed up by the medium-sized companies. Some, such as Alpha Media and Town Square, seem to have the resources to run the newly acquired stations in a healthy way, whereas others, such as Stickline and MyTown, Anderson, and especially HPR, just seem to make a mess of the station, starve them, and run them into the ground. This was really noticeable to me as I revisited station websites in preparation for my de-expedition this summer. And Uncle Bill Tilford comments on this in the world of Radio Group. In mid-September, I drove from central Indiana to Kansas City, passing through central Illinois and Missouri along the way. Went up and down the dial on AM and FM, going both ways about eight hours each. I was unpleasantly surprised by both the low quantity and quality of options on both bands driving through Illinois and Missouri. Twenty years ago, both bands would have been much more robust. Unfortunately, this is territory which on paper still has the demographic that would listen to AM radio if it could. Ben Cobb reports, FCC fines three pirate radio operators more than six mega dollars for illegal radio broadcasting. Quoting the FCC, proposed fines against three pirate radio operators under the PIRATE Act in Bronx, Mount Vernon, and Brooklyn, New York, totaling $6,412,068. And quote, Pirate radio is an unauthorized transmission of radio signals on the frequencies in or adjacent to the FM and AM radio bands. But Ben says that is not what the Pirate Act says. It specifically limits pirate radio to spectrum frequencies between 535 and 1705 kilohertz inclusive, or 87.7 and 108 megahertz inclusive. That is, if you're a pirate on 1710, you're not included. And via Mike Terry, a related story, November 16th from Radio Inc., FCC seeks to plunder more New York pirate radio operators. Quoting that same figure, the maximum $2,316,034 against Johnny Peralta, allegedly operating La Mia Radio in the Bronx since 2018. Same penalty proposed against Dexter Blake for linkage radio in Mount Vernon. And somewhat less for Matthew Bowen for 89 alleged FCC rule violations related to his operation of Triple Nine HD in Brooklyn. Ken Zick in Michigan is wondering what was this on 5845, too close to WRMI, repeated urgent dramatic bumper music repeating over and over. November 11th from 0215 until off at 0300. And not on the next night. Propagation outlook from SWPC. G1 storming likely with ANK and the seas peaking at 20 and 5 on November 25th. 16 and 5 on December 5th. Quiet estates 5 and 2, November 17th to 21st and 29th to December 3rd. Solar flux rising from 120 November 18th to a peak of 155 November 30th and December 1st. Glenn Hauser concluding World of Radio 2217 with a standard disclaimer.